Supposed to be here at 305, it's 307. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, it it's literally here. Oh my god. Alright, we have a guy back here with a dog. Sounds like a killer dog. Excuse me. Oh boy. It's going pretty good. I will say that the front feels a little squirrely when you're in the grass. Like it doesn't have a whole lot of grip. So I am going pretty fast. But I'm going around turns and it's pretty freaking squirrely. I freaking love this trail. Let's see, what, see how we do here. Squirrels. Squirrels, squirrels, squirrels. Everywhere you look. Squirrels. Four squirrels. We're gonna count squirrels again on this freaking trip. It's kind of what I do. All right. Here's a quick rock walk around on my bike. I just got a new seat from uh, Etsy, and I got studded tires. These are the all-terrain tires from Super 73. Wow. God, you guys see that freaking cactus? Oh my god, I gotta I freaking run into a cactus. Oh my god. Damn, look at that shit. I don't know if you guys see all this shit, but like dude, I got blood, man. I got blood all over the place from this freaking cactus. Jesus. This really is a motorcycle. I mean, I don't know what you wanna. You can call it a bicycle all day long, but it's a freaking motorcycle, you know? I mean, Jesus. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying, people? Uh, no. I think I was... <laughs> I think I was literally picking up this. Guinness Book of World Records called me, and they said, hey, we heard that you found this unbelievable, long, continuous stretch of grass, and we'd like to videotape you doing it, and then put you in our book. And I said, okay. You guys can believe it, this is what I freaking found in my tire. A freaking nail. Really? Dude, do you know how bad it sucks to be walking your freaking bike? Ram practice facility is up here. Can I get to it? Let's see if we can get in trouble. Get some free water. Rams drink a lot of water, apparently. Wow, nice view, man. Look at that shit. How badass is this? All right. We're doing it, people. But it ain't easy. Whoa, shit. Oh, man, I forgot about this stupid shit. Get some momentum. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling that. The hub motor issue. Wow, my bike just... My, my... Oh my god. The motor was just spinning within the hub and there was no connection to the tire and the tire wasn't moving. So I just, it was just like free spinning. Yeah, this motor's dying, people. So I've had my v, V1 motor in my uh, Super 73 R since June. And uh, if you look at my videos, after about three months, the motor started like dying. So September is when I uh, sent a note to the, the, the customer service staff at Super 73 and said, hey, I need a new motor. And they're like, okay. For those of you that have been watching my channel, you know that I have a Super 73 R. It is in the shop. So that brings me to my next point, which is the handlebars on this bike probably look a little different. And that's because I am on a Swagtron EB7 Plus. And uh, just a little bike. Kind of got it uh, just to have something to ride around on until my other bikes get, get you know, repaired. All right. I am on an Onyx motorbike, an RCR. Holy bejesus. Are you kidding me? I'm getting a loaner for a few days from Onyx. All right, I just got a Himaway Cruiser and I am going to unbox it right now. All right, we're on the Himaway Cruiser. And in this video, we're gonna do some hill testing. 
21. Not bad. I mean, it's slowing down, but not at a really alarming rate. Eight. And, uh, and I said this in my unboxing video. Probably not the best bike for really aggressive off-road. So I'm going 26.9 miles an hour right now. I'm going 30.7. But yeah, this thing's got, it definitely hauls butt. Who even knew this existed? I didn't. I sure did not. And after three and a half months, he sent me yesterday uh, an email saying, you have to take the rear wheel off, uh, take the tire and the tube off, and FedEx it to us. And they sent me a FedEx label. Now, today, a day later, but well, thank God they're fast, they sent me uh, my wheel. You wanna put these on that first, and then you put the wheel on the bike. Okay. All right. All right. After a long and arduous process, which I didn't have you uh, go through with me because it's a pain in the ass, I, uh, I got her back on. There she is, V3 motor, and I'm ready to go for a freaking ride, finally. So, let's do that. All right, we are on the Super 73R with the V3 motor, if you can actually believe that. I don't know if I can believe it. It's been a long, long time coming. Wow. All right, well, look how far we did get, though. Like, that's pretty impressive. So, all right, it's not a superstar, but definitely a lot better than it was. So, wow. Woo! Baby's humming, people. Humming. Far way up the freaking hill is a chain that you gotta, like, hop over. You gotta get off your bike and hop over. And I get the feeling that if I make it to there, I'm then gonna lose all my momentum. And, whoops, whoa, I literally just broke my chain. So, just interesting. Are you guys seeing this? What the hell is this? It's like a goat farm. Are you kidding me? Tarantula Hill. Throttle only. We're in we're at Tarantula Hill. We are on my event in cinch. All right. We are on my new Luna folding bike. All right, we are on the rad mission. Very exciting. All right, we are on the rad runner electric utility. Oh my freaking god! I couldn't freaking run a turn. It doesn't look like it, but it's freaking huge. Pretty freaking amazing climbing capability, I will say. Like what a cool freaking trail! This awesome freaking trail. Cause they're freaking insane. See if I swing wide here and get some freaking momentum. Less rockiness. All right, come on. We're doing it, people. We're doing this. We're actually freaking doing this.